All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to One Game, One Life. My name is Typo, and this is Grounded, part 34, and this will be a big episode for a couple of reasons. Uh, first off, I did find the exposed pipe again between the picnic table and the sandbox. I remember that mental note I made for myself. Um, I already went there, and we had to go back and get some plant fiber um, because I couldn't see underwater. And so, I'm just redoing the intro so you guys aren't having to watch that. That's all you've missed. Uh, also, we I got some very, very key comments from a commenter by the name of Opossum Rick, who showed us in episode 21, I believe, when we are finishing the Pond Lab. We literally saw a blue key on screen, and I didn't see it. It was on the middle of the screen, and I somehow didn't see it. So that might be the key we're looking for underwater. That would be sick. And then there was a skeleton in that episode as well, he said, for me to check out more thoroughly. I guess we didn't check it well enough. Another helpful tip from Opossum Rick is that the Ice Mint Tic Tac box, he said something along the lines of it opens the same way they would open in real life. So let's see if we can figure that out as well. Very helpful comments from Opossum Rick for stuff that we had already seen. Perfect comments. Helped me with stuff that we missed without spoiling anything new. Thank you, Opossum Rip. Rick. I really appreciate it. And I'm sure everyone else does too. Because obviously playing a game blind, you are going to miss some things like that. And I really appreciate it. So. <clears throat> I grabbed some plant fiber. Let's go back under here. We're going to grab two of those little slime mold stock whatevers. Because it's dark down here. Like it's dark dark down here. Alright. Let's equip our bone dagger. Let's craft us a slime mold torch. There we go. We even have an extra plant fiber. I can drop that. Let's go get it. We got a key waiting for us. Yeah, it's so dark down here. There it is. Requires Minotaur Maze key. Now we have it. Boom! That's our first key pickup, because we didn't see the other one, even though it was smack dab in the middle of our screen. I still can't believe I missed that. Imagine the things I've missed this playthrough, just because I'm blind. <clears throat> okay. So, now we go back up to the picnic table. Open that chest. And then we dandelion our tuft... We dandelion tuft our ways back to the... Back to... The Tic Tac box as far as we can, and then we'll visit home, grab our water gear, go check out that ch that key in that chest. Hopefully, I can't imagine what other chest that other key could be for. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm feeling confident that's what it would be for, since it's in the same like area ish. Kind of like how this Minotaur Maze key is kind of ish in the same area as the picnic table chest. Looking forward to that for sure. Did I do that with the weed stems? No, that, that had to have been something else did that, right? Or am I crazy? I might be crazy. Maybe I'm just not remembering something we did. Those sounds are alarming. Grounded is always alarming. Oh my god. That's like five sleeping bees. What? <laughs> okay. I guess they all sleep here on the picnic table bench. Interesting. Are they going to be sleeping over here so we don't have to fight him again? I would love that. Help. A little juice, that doesn't hurt. Please be still dead or sleeping. Because I know the spawn times of grounded can be nuts. Alright, I think they're still dead. Good. Get our way across here in the middle of the night. Day 53, by the way, I believe. Maybe it's 54. 53 or 54. I could just check. It's 53. Day 53. Dude. <laughs> We're getting close to the two-month marker here. Oh, this is so cool. Our first chest opening. I wonder what it's going to be. Is it just a burgle chip or is there is there more to it? I hate this gap right here. Is there a bur is it just a burgle chip or is there more to it? We're going to find out. Uh, 
go through here. Oh my god, a research station. We definitely gotta use that before we leave too. We have so many new things. Ah, it definitely did go the wrong way. Damn. These like ant men behemoth things. Uh, well, I guess they're called minotaurs, actually, now that we think about it. Did I really not bring that with me? How did that happen? I feel like... Uh, okay, never mind. We're just gonna we're just gonna roll. We're just gonna go with it. Okay. All right. Here we go. Roll that one, baby. Unlock. Oh yes. Oh, there's definitely stuff in here. Uh, crouch, I guess. Can I really not crouch and stay in the chest? No? Okay. Alright, sturdy quartzite shard and some brittle ones. <laughs> this, is, this is ridiculous. I really can't stand here. Brittle. Sturdy. Burgle chip, obviously. There's gotta be a way in here. Can I put the weapon away and make some more space for myself? No? There it is. Jesus. Why was that so hard? Sturdy and brittle marble shards? The RPG module. You know we gotta check that out later because I love that. Mega Milk Bowler, Picnic Burgle Chip. Yes! Oh, now we gotta find our way back out of this. Okay, there we go. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Yeah, those chests are nice. Oh my god! Are we good? Are we- are we good? What is this bee doing? I might have to fight it. Nope, we're set. Okay. Dude, grounded scares you like nothing else does. I- I jump at like no other games. <laughs> Even games that are supposed to be horror, like Dead by Daylight, but... <laughs> grounded just has a way to- uh, to get to you. Alright, let's do some studies. Um... Explore Trowel Gulch, no. Reject. Sign shop, 7,500. Well, there was something we were going to buy. Scabby scanner for scabbies. Yeah, yeah, True. And a waft emitter? No, we don't want so <laughs> we don't want swarms. Buy the scabby scanner for scabbies. Cooking 101, pebblet foundation, fortified bases, buoyance, cookbook. I don't think the rest of these are, like, that huge to me. Though turret pebblet would make sense since, you know... Pebblets are way easier to stock up on than pollen. Okay, we'll hold on to those 2,500 for now. We have four Mega Milk Bowlers. What do we want to do with them? Max consumable stack size up to 20 would be good. Yeah, let's do that. Nice! Alright, fine. We'll do stair arrows up to 25 since it's only one and these other ones are getting pretty pricey. Get yoked! Get yoked. <laughs> That's awesome. Alright, let's do some study. Three new things. Rare, common, and uncommon. Let's do the common antlion part. What are we working with? Antlion poncho, antlion wide brim, antlion spurs, and repair glue. Okay. Yeah, we're not going to get a new brain power level, but we'll make some good progress. Antlion Pincer. New weapon, maybe? Antlion Greatsword. Oh, that sounds good. That sounds really good. That sounds like the kind of weapon we use. It's a slash version of the weapon we use. And then a spicy shard. For the spicy globstone, right? Spicy arrow. Got it. Okay. Plus 50. Yes. We are a common and an uncommon away from the next brain power level, so that's big. Alright, now we need to make it back to not quite home, but in the direction of home. So that we can... We gotta go towards this shrinking thing. This is gonna be a long flight. And we are not gonna get there very well. Oh boy, we've got a lot of distance to make up. A lot of distance. In the dark. When it's dangerous. So that'll be fun. 
We'll enjoy that, I think. Everyone loves a dangerous experience. We're gonna run into a wolf spider. You just watch. God, I would hate that. <laughs> Let me up here. I just heard a wolf spider. Literally. Instantly. Just like that. I swear, man. They are out heavy at night. Everywhere. They are everywhere at night. Let me up. I'm afraid to use all my stamina. I want to have some for running away if I need it. Okay, an ant. Stay set. Oh, shoot. Gas mask. Okay, gas mask is on. We're good. Well, there shouldn't be any wolf spiders in the haze. So I guess the haze has that going for us. Yeah, because the haze damages non-infected creatures, right? That's why these ants are all dead. <clears throat> yeah, I think going along the outskirts of the haze is actually going to be very beneficial for us. That sucked. Alright, I don't know if I'm going to be able to figure out this ice mint tic-tac box, whatever, but we're going to try. We're on the right path. I did it again. On the right path. I saw that one coming, to be fair. I just didn't think it was going to suck like that. Okay. We gotta return a trip to Burgle, and we gotta get the sunken treasure Burgle chip, which I think is what we're doing today as well, which would be great. And then we'll go back to our sandbox adventures, because that sandbox is so fun. So fun. Alright, we're back over here. This is right before the Tic Tac box, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's right over here, this way. Excusez-moi. Alright, opens like in real life. What are you talking about, big guy? Big guy being... Aha! Just like real life. Look at that! We're in here! Let me in these places. Why can I never fit in places right now? There we go. Alright, all the ice cap mints. Let me make sure I have inventory space. I do. Yeah, yeah. Nice. And I feel safe in here a little bit. Like, nothing too big can really get in here. Like, if a wolf spider saw us right now, I feel like we'd be safe in this little cubby. I mean, it would probably never leave us alone, but we'd be safe in this little cubby. That's a lot of mint shards. Alright. Thank you, Opossum Rick. I didn't even see the little, like, flip cap on the top there. But that's how you open him. Nice. Awesome. Good. Huge. And it is 5 in the morning, so the sun is going to start working its way out. Eat some mushrooms before we head back, since they're free. Alright, now we head back home, get all our water gear, and let's go see if we can go back to the pond lab and get some goods that way too. Water, juice drop, perfect timing. Look at that home base. A little blurry right now, but god I love our home base. And it's coming along. Other than the top ring around the tree not being finished, and the jump lines not being finished, and we're going to need an oven at one point, apparently, is something we can make. Other than those three things, our base really has come to fruition. Hey, Ladybug. The wolf spider, good. Alright, let's get some acorn tops while we're here. I don't have the inventory, do I? I do. Acorn top. Acorn top. We need acorn tops for that, uh, for the ladder. Alright, you can get rid of the torch. We don't need it right now. Oh, not enough backpack space. Never mind, we're using the torch for a bit. Damn, we were on a four streak of acorn tops. I was kind of digging that. Damn. 
Yeah, we were on a bit of a streak, and now it's not working as much. Come on. Wolf spider right there. Wolf spider right there. Nope. All right. We got we got enough for now. Enough for now. Wolf spiders are coming back. Let's go upstairs to our safety base for a little bit. Wish I could put the torch away, but we don't have the inventory space at the moment. We will in a sec. Home sweet home. Home sweet home. All right. Animal parts. Now we can put the torch away. I guess we keep making silk rope because apparently those bungee cord, those zip lines take a lot. Okay. Acorn tops, yep. Yeah. Use that later when we're doing more building in the future. I think I should just bring these. Let's leave the rocks behind, obviously. Oh, that's not the... Oh, yeah, it is the, the right one. So many rocks. All the rocks. Silk rope is in here. Silk rope's in here. Alright, consumables did get an increased stack size, so that's good. Ice mints are in this one. Good. And spicy shards, we'll put there. I feel like that's more fitting. Dandelion tuft for when our current one breaks. We got that. We got the brat burst. We don't need the mask, I don't think, for... No, we should bring it. Uh, Mushrooms. We don't need that many mushrooms, but I will keep them here for food. I'll, take, I'll keep a full stack um, for food and bring six with us, and we can just consume those. I changed my mind. Change, change my mind. One ice mint left over. Damn. Okay. Alright. Uh, we need way more fiber bandages. Until we're at 20. There we go. Which means we have to go grab our sap. New weapon. Salt arrow. Deals salty damage. Spicy arrow does spicy damage, right? Uh, where's the, uh... Antlion Greatsword. No st Okay, so instead of doing a bunch of stun like the Red Ant Club, it does a little more damage. It's also faster. So, it trades stun so that it has more speed and more damage. That is pretty good. We need seven pincers? Can't make it right now. Antlion Wide Brim. Sizzle Protection. Okay. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Nah, we were getting around it fine. It is nice, but I, I think we were getting around it fine. <laughs> the little black hell makes me laugh. Uh, oven. We need Everchar Coal Chunks. Do we not have any clay? I could go get clay if we needed it. Glue Masher. Stink bug part, oh, we got this. We can definitely build that. A glue masher? Put it with the rest of the constructions over here. Okay. So crude rope, stink bug, sprig, and acorn shell. We'll do all that later. I'll, I'll do that, <laughs> I'll do building later. We need the that for breathing. I think that's it, because we have the sunken bone dagger. Yeah. Is there anything else we need that I'm missing? I don't think so. I think that's it. I think that's it. Yep. 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 Okay. Alright. Let's do this. Maybe some water upstairs real quick. Oh yeah. Definitely water upstairs. Feeling refreshed. Feeling refreshed. Let's go get that key and go check that skeleton. I am excited. I should have went to the back of the place first, but oh well. And we can get more acorn tops while we're out here. Let this ac I'm gonna let this tough die. Soon. 
so that we can move on to the next one. More acorn tops! I need them for the ladders! Oh my god, they're just not coming anymore. We were on such a streak, and now we're on an opposite streak. No! There's one. This is the main problem with making ladders, is the acorn tops. <laughs> the acorns only spawn back so fast, there's only so many, and then the acorn tops only sometimes come out of them. Oh! Swing and a miss. It's a shame we're going underwater on such a nice day, but gotta do it. Oh my god, we are on a really bad streak of acorn tops. After doing so well for a little bit. Oh my goodness. Okay, I guess. Alright, back to you. All right, where where was the pond lab? Missing burgle chips there. Okay, the the dino is here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go to the dino. Where's the koi fish? Oh my god, it's right there. Stop, 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 stop. Look at the size of that bad boy. Oh boy. Terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. Straight up. What? I just... I'm waiting for him to go away a little bit. Okay, there we go. Dino toys this way. Should be good. Yep. Okay. Yep. Straight down. Shush. Alright, I'll kill you for oxygen. Hello? Didn't let me block. Thank you. Thank you for the air. Spider chunks needed. Alright. Let's go to the lab. And then we could probably get away with going to the skeleton or the key first. Probably with how much air we have, but... Running out of air, I'm pretty sure means you're dead. So I'm not even going to risk it. We're just going to Yeah, we're going to we're going to go get some more O2. No, we can go do the skeleton at least. We should be good to go get the skeleton. It's just in here. Are we? Are we good to go to the skeleton? We should be good. <laughs> we should be good to go to the skeleton. Watch me bite my words so hard here. But yeah, we're not even halfway out of air yet, after all the movement we've done. Should be good. Skeleton, skeleton, where were you? I don't remember exactly where it was. There it is. Aha! Rummage! Snapshot 4, toxicology badge for gas resist and dust- Oh, I gotta look at that later, actually. Just kidding. I'm underwater right now. Cool. Alright, now we get out of here. Thank you, uh, Opossum Rick, for that. And thank you for the Ice Mint tip. And now the final Opossum Rick tip of the day will be that key that we saw that I did not grab. I think I remember how to get there. I looked back at the video. Not, not like I remember from all the way back, but like I looked at the video recently when he said that. Saw it on screen went, oh my god. And I think I remember how we got there. Definitely need some more air. Ooh, silk rope, actually. Is something that we want right now. Nice. We'll take that. Alright, get some oxygen back. And go. Nothing else here that we wanted? No? Okay. Onwards we march. Alright, there should be a little hole here, I think. No, maybe not here. Maybe a little further in. A hole here? No? Am I stupid? What am I missing? Uh-oh. Maybe I don't remember where I'm looking. Oh boy. What have I done? 
Fighters over there. Damn it, what did I do? I totally lost it. I thought there was like a hole over here that I could go into. A dark little crevasse. Hmm. Well, if, that, if that's not true, then I'm actually not sure what I'm doing. Let's get more air and check again. Remember, we can kill spiders for air if we need to. Okay. Now let's check again. I come over here. There's no hole here. So we just gotta go, right? No hole here. Get the lantern out. This probably isn't it. No, it's not. Oh, God. I've lost it. I've lost it. I don't know where I'm going. Shoot! There was definitely a hole somewhere, and I'm just, I'm not seeing it for some reason. How did I find it the first time and not this time? What am I missing? Yikes, Typo, what are you doing? Alright, I guess I'm gonna find this off camera real quick. And I'll be right back. <laughs> Alright, welcome back. I found it. Uh, we're almost out of torchlight, though, now that I've found this. Um, so, hopefully we're good on that. Yeah, spiders. Thanks for the oxygen. Boy, we are not going to be able to see down here. I'm telling you right now, this thing is... Yeah. Okay. Hopefully it's easy enough to see, knowing that we've been here before. Come on. Is he stuck in the water? Is he stuck in the ground? Oh, God. Oh, God. It's so dark. There's air. I'm gonna have to do this in an awkward way. Where? There you are. Oh god, we've made this so much harder by doing this. Oh my god. This sucks. This sucks. Got it, okay. Drink some fuzz on the rocks. Okay. Uh, if we go back this way... Yeah, there's just no light. Uh-oh. What have I done? I just... I hate having to go get more plant fiber. Where? Boy, I cannot see. Alright, is the key over here in this section? Or do I have to go deeper? Oh my god. Hold up. <laughs> is there a brightness? <laughs> there is not. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, how dark is dark? Jesus. Did I just do the opposite with that? No, no, that is, that is dark. That is dark. How about we do 50? 50 sounds fair. Yes, no, maybe. Any key over here? No. 
Torch isn't working, obviously. Son of a... I don't even know how I'm going to get out of here right now. How am I even going to leave this place? Uh, apparently I've left this place. Damn it, where am I getting plant fiber? Ugh! This is cancer! Ugh. Why does a slime mold torch require plant fiber? That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> You're never gonna find that underwater. And we're so far away from plant fiber, man. Shit. And I don't see any here. All right, I'm gonna cut in the I'm gonna cut the footage again. I'll see you soon. Here we go. Two plant fiber. Boop boop. You know what? Here, just in case, I'll take four, and then we'll go make two of those torches. There's actually a lot of plant fiber over here. Could have been worse. Okay, so back again. Let's get this key that ended up being more than I thought it was going to be. I'll show you the hole uh, and why I missed it the first couple of times. It kind of deceptive. So I went around here, right? And then there, it doesn't completely look like there's a hole, but there's a hole here. Voila. Okay, back again. This time for the final time. There's no way we're going back down here again. Because now we'll have the key. There will be no reason to go back. There's the brittle shard we can never reach. Okay, so we were supposed to go in this room. Got it. So we're back in this room. There's the key. Oh my god, it was right in front of us. Again, playing the game blind strikes hard right there. If I just knew exactly where I was supposed to be... <laughs> that would have been over in no time. I'm so stupid. Alright. Whatever. We got it. Whatever. We got it. Let's get out of here. There it is. Okay. Now let's go open the chest and get the goods. Hell yeah. Thank you, Opossum Rick. I'm, I love the comments. They're spoiler free but very helpful. For things that we've missed. I love it. And then... Here we go. Oh, you know what, actually? Oh, boy. I'm not... That's a long swim. I don't know if we have enough air without, without going up again. So let's go up one more time. Get the air we need. If I wasn't playing one game, one life, I would just save and then try it again. But... Slime mold torch depleted. Unequip that. I want a full equipment one in case it gets dark. Uh, I would just save and then see if we could reach, but one game, one life, that's not how we play. Hoops only has one life, and we gotta play it like she only has one life, because she does. And if and if Hoops dies, I think we'll play as Max next, and then Willow, if, if God forbid we ever die three times. If we die three times, we are really running out of characters. All right, here we go. Long swim, long swim. That chest is far away. Those jets really helped us get around quicker, for sure. This is kind of crazy construction, though. Like... Was he miniature when he set these up, or was he big? If he was big, how the hell did he get them here? And if he was small, those are quite the creations. Alright, the chest is right there. Yep. It's glowing gold and everything. Let's go! Mossy Key! There it is. Yes! Outpost Burgle Chip. And a Mega Milk Bowler. Nothing else, but... Who needs anything else? That's huge. Love it. Love it. Alright, so we got two Mega Milk Molars from the chest today. Two chips to go turn into Burgle. Nice.
And those were both side quests we had, so that'll be a lot of science points that way too. And it's about to be night time, which is a perfect time to go turn into Burgle and go set up in the base. Air, please. Thank you. Alright, make sure we're not going to get eaten by a koi fish here. Get eight. No, we're good. Some of those terrifying things. I, I just, those things just look sketchy to me. I know they're not, they're not going to harm me, but they look sketchy. Whew. More water exploration. That water exploration can get stressful for me. But at least there's no, like, big creatures other than the koi fish that I really fear when we're in the water. So, enemy-wise, it is more relaxing. It's just the constant need for oxygen. Oh. And then tomorrow we'll go back to the sandbox like we had originally planned. Apparently we need seven antlion pincers for an antlion greatsword, which would be great. The Red Ant Club does fine, it's just not... Tier 3, you know? It's not going to be our endgame weapon, I'm sure. But it's serving us great right now, and it will probably be our weapon for a long time for... Bludgeoning reasons? Because some things are just weak to crushing or bludgeoning damage. Which is... The, the Antlion Greatsword isn't going to be that. It's a slashing weapon, I'm sure. And we'll definitely get some water when we get back home, too. Alright, Burgle, we have some goods! You're welcome! Thank you! Turn in both! I should be 5,000 for both. Yes. Yeah, we've got a lot of money again. Well, you know. Science. Mm, scabby scanner milk molars. Detect nearby milk molars? Yes, 100%. That's 5,000 spent, and it's worth it. Splatburst recipe. Um, a bomb that's covered in a sticky substance attaches to the first thing it hits. Ooh, a sticky brat burst. Oh, I see. That's actually not terrible. Swim even faster. Diving lantern allows it to last twice as long before burning out. Mint mace. A giant... Look at the damage and stun on that! A giant club crafted from a chunk of ice caps mints. Deals fresh damage on hit but useless for busting. That is the play! That's gonna replace our red ant club eventually. And now we're out of raw science, but I want that. We need to kill more roly-polies, I think, actually, for that gunk, whatever. Tough gunk. And then we need to figure out how to make mint globstones, probably. Okay, yeah, and we got some molars, but nothing new at the moment. Picnic chip unlocks, yep. Yo, that's sick. That's sick. I love it. We did it. All right. Opossum Rick or anybody else, please let me know if I missed anything else, but I think... We have covered the majority of things that I ended up missing on my explorations. I think. Now let's get back up there. Thirsty, I know. We're about to fix that. And go up our giant tower here. Up to our wonderful, wonderful home base. And up we go. Alright. So tomorrow... Definitely, I mean, I'm going to bring the 30 mushrooms for eating. Um, we need to be careful of sizzle, obviously. Uh, I don't, I still don't know if it kills us immediately upon sizzle, but the ant arm, the ladybug armor has been great for blocking damage, and it's, it's been really good, so I want to keep wearing that. We're able to fight ant lions pretty confidently with it on. Um, let's go ahead and plant more mushrooms. Consume... Whoa. Consume, consume, and take, and then we plant a new one. Plant. And in two days, we'll have more of that. Get our sap from here. Yeah, our, our base is, is definitely fantastic. I love it. We'll make one more plant fiber while... Or we'll make one more plant fiber bandage. That's what it is while we're here. Maybe build that glue masher too. Hydration is the key to performance. 
Nothing to cook, I don't believe? No. Okay, so what was it? Crude, two crude ropes, stink bug, three spray, three acorn shell. See if I can remember that in one go here. One stink bug part. Whoops. Three sprigs. Um, crude rope. Two crude rope. And... Oh, we had this whole slime lantern and I just didn't bring with us. Whoops. What was the other thing I'm forgetting? Think bug? Acorn shells. Alright, glue masher. Here we come. Can't carry it right now. Boom! Repair glue. Mint shards, spicy shards, spider chunks, roly poly parts, antlion parts, stink bug parts, bombardier parts, or ladybug parts. Okay, so we either gotta kill stuff or use up shards that sound a little more limited in scope. Don't love that. Okay. Let's deal with the inventory again. Muscle sprouts. Yeah. We. We. Okay. What recipe are we working on lately? I kind of love, and I mean love, the one thing we have that does the regen. We can't make it? Oh, we can't make that. What is it called? Sticky slop? Trickle. Re hodgepodge of ingredients. How do you make it? Can we freestyle this? If I do a mushroom and <laughs> a slime mold torch and an acorn shell with a, this beefy, what do I get? <gasps> oh my god. Like, actually? Beefy slop. Does beefy... Wait, hold up. Oh, it just heals. Doesn't do trickle regen. Man, I was getting excited for a second. This trickle regen is so good. Looks like it's made with gum, is what that marker probably means. Huh. Uh, how about... Mushroom... Diving Bell Spider Chunk... And acorn. Probably the same, right? Yeah, same thing. Uh, is it just the fact that it's made out of a glue piece? A gum, a gum piece. Not a glue piece. I'm not eating glue. Hopefully. Okay. Alright, alright. We got a bunch of different drinks in here. Taking up inventory. We need to work on that. Definitely need to work on emptying that out. But I don't want to just drop them behind. So we'll take them with us for now. Fiber. Acorn. Another acorn part. Torches, the, bring the mask, it's just safer to have. We can take off the gill tube, and we can get rid of the um, bone dagger. We don't need those two things. Probably. Ugh, probably. It's a strong probably. I don't know, maybe I do. I've needed the bone dagger so many times. But, no, yeah, I'll, I'll leave it behind. There we go, sunken bone dagger. Muscle sprouts we'll leave behind, too, obviously. We'll equip that dandelion tuft and trash this one, because it's basically broken. Okay. Canteen's ready. Drinks, helmet... We're going to have to go through the gas first, so we'll do that. Alright. And we have some inventory space to work with. Good, 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 good. Okay. Voila. And I think we are ready for tomorrow. Very good. Very good, very good, very good, very good, very good. Bulky. Awesome. Alright, so we're going back to the sandbox next time. Thank you so much, Opossum Rick, for the help. Thank you, everybody, for joining me on this journey and making sure that we have all the good stuff and that we are completely caught up and ready to go back to antlion territory in the sandbox. Hopefully they haven't spawned back already. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider giving a like. And if you really enjoyed it, consider subscribing. 
Either way, thank you so much for joining Hoops and I on this journey in Grounded, and we will see all of you next time.